is there an easy way to take output from a dbmsoutput.putline and convert it to a HTML page or a HTML report? I can see the appeal of this. If you look at almost anything that people rave about inside Oracle, it's generally you're taking something which is perhaps internal and exposing as a report. No one looks at the AWR data tables, they look at the AWR reports. A lot of people don't look at ASH, they look at ASH reports. People don't look at raw trace files, they look at the TK prof formatted output. And so the facility to expose stuff that's being debugged or internally as something that you can then look at either for HTML, et cetera, et cetera, is often sought after. Hopefully people are using better instrumentation facilities than dbmsoutput.putline. Hopefully they're using DBMS application info or maybe logger or on my own GitHub repo, there's an instrumentation thing. Having said that, a lot of people just, when they have a problem, stuff a whole bunch of DBMS output or put lines in their code, which is fine to, if you're running it from SQL plus, but if you're running that pill SQL routine from somewhere else, it's gone, you can't see it. Now, I wanna stress, there's no magic. It's not like DBMS output is some magic special inter internal utility that calls special internal functions that does something magical. It's exactly what you would do if you were writing your own debugging routine. What I mean by that is, if you do dbmsoutput.putline hello, all that happens is we take whatever you pass the routine and we stuff it into an array, like an associative array sitting inside the database in that session. Do it again, we simply add another row to the array. When that routine finishes, all we do is we throw that array away. Now, that's what you'll notice if you just run something like this in SQL Plus. You run DBMS output to put line and nothing happens. Of course, if you do set server output on, it doesn't change the way the database works in any way, shape or form. All that is is a flag to SQL plus the tool that says when peel SQL finishes, before you throw away that array, go read it, go read each line in the peel SQL associative array and spit it out to the output. So set server output on, it's a SQL plus facility. It's not something that belongs in the database. It's just this particular tool uses that particular command to say, when my call to the database is finished, go check that array. If there's anything in it, spit it back out to the terminal. SQL Developer does the same thing. SQL Seal does the same thing. If you're running things like Toad or other tools, they do the same thing. All you're doing is stuffing information into an array. And most of the time, because you're not using one of these tools, you're simply throwing it away. Let's do a demo now to actually see if we can build something which does the job of what SQL Plus would be doing. So here's a routine. It's just doing select star from scott.amp and it's gonna spit out some information. And as I said, by default, if you haven't told the tool you're using to go get the array when you're finished, it does nothing. I ran the routine and I got no output. But if I do set server output on, that's simply a flag to SQL Plus saying, yep, when you finish the call, go get the information out and spit it out on screen. Let's now do that but not using SQL plus. I create a table called T and what it's gonna do is it's gonna hold all the output from that array. I can't use dbms output.putline to prove this example because I would get stuck in sort of an endless loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna call asktom.listemps and what that does is obviously loop through the employee table and spit out all the things using dbms output.putline. But I have server output off here. So normally that would simply throw that stuff away. But what I'm going to do now is use this API, which a lot of people are unaware of, as well as being able to put stuff into the array, you can ask the database for that information back. I'm looping through here because I know it's not much. There's also routines here to get the entire array in one call, but I'm just being lazy here. So I'm simply going to do dbms mod get line, which simply says, get me the first line from the array of anything that's been currently put into the dbms output array. While it's not null, I'll put that row into my table called T because I can't DBMS output it because that was simply put more into the array. Commit that and then go ahead and get the next line. And it's gonna keep doing that until it runs out. So if I run that, nothing happened. It looks like there's a bug in this script, but there's not. In the same way that in SQL Plus, we do set server output on as a flag to say, yep, I want you to start using that array. From the database perspective, it's effectively doing this. It's calling dbmsoutput.enable. That's a setting that says, yes, from now on, when you see things called calls to dbmsoutput.putline, I want you to store them in the array, not just throw them away. So now that I've enabled it and then do list emps and I continue the rest of the code simply saying, go get all the lines and bring them back. There we go, my table got populated. As we can see here, I've got this facility now where 
I was calling DBMS output, but I have a facility where I can go get those entries and stick them into a table. But this person wanted to get them out as for HTML report. Well, we can do that too. I've simply written a routine now called asktom.dbms out, which does effectively the same thing. It simply says, enable the DBMS output. Go run a routine which creates some output. Rather than then fetching that output and putting it uh, into a table, I'm going to simply loop through it and call HTTP.print. And that's the, the mod PLC called facilities, which lets you send output back to the browser. This is what Apex is built on top of. Let's see if it works. Using ORDs, I can call this procedure, which is actually going to call asktom.listemps, put some stuff into DBMS output array, and then it's going to loop through it and actually print them out. So I'm calling ORDs, I'm calling this procedure that we just saw, and I run it, but it's simply prefixed with the word output, and then spat out everything that was in the DBMS output array. You can see the first thing was put out the word output. I changed my font to being courier, so it's monospaced. And then I simply loop through and spat it all out using HTTP with a line break after each one. So you can see we can actually do whatever the tools we normally do. Set server output on, dbms output dot enable. Once you've got stuff in the array, you don't have to rely on the tool to get that information back. As long as you can enable the output, it then gets captured in the array. And then whatever facility you want will be able to read that information from the array and do whatever task you want. It doesn't have to always just come back to the screen.